And here we are with the OP first Town Hall 14 professional show match. Today we got Space Station versus Queen Walkers with $250 million on the line. Wait, no, more like 250. Same thing though, same thing. We're giving away a $50 bonus to whichever player triples with the most troops and spells used. Will we see anybody coming in with a Noah's Ark attack today? Gosh, I hope so. Today's matchup is gonna be a best of three. And here we got match number one. Thank you so much for watching another video. Huge shout out to today's sponsor. Burnt Base is a Supercell approved Clash of Clans tool that you can use to find any base, Town Hall 10 through Town Hall 14 on the internet. It is super easy to use. All you have to do is take a picture of the base you wanna know about go to burntbase.com upload your picture and voila instant results with video links burnt base will give you links to youtube videos that show exactly how to triple the base you're curious about you can watch and see how to three star your base in war or you can even upload your own defensive base and see how other people have three starred that base or something similar to it and then bait that attack in your future wars adjust the traps to defend those attacks moving forward head over to burntbase.com to give it a try it's absolutely free to use with a cooldown between searches but if you want unlimited searches you can pay an upgraded premium fee to get as many as you want check out the link in the description below and crazy ryan in with the first attack of the match on Uta 14's base coming in with the queen charge lalo okay okay his classic favorite army composition to use let's see how he's going to do it the early royal champion from the south side of the base the queen over here from the five o'clock angle. Looks like he wants the royal champion to take out the single target Inferno Tower. The lassie actually tanks the single for the royal champion, but now it locks onto the queen. Oh no! He still has yet to drop his healers. That was looking weird. Had to freeze, had to pop queen ability. Queen and royal champion trying to get through these headhunters. There's still one alive with the poison spell. Queen gets through it. Okay, our royal champion's dead. We already lost the queen ability. Can he recover? Uses one Coco Loon right there. Down goes the air defense. He's got three wall breakers, but he's not using them. There goes the first one. Looks like he wants her to go into the scatter shot compartment. King finds a Tesla farm here on the outside of the base. Queen will go in. It looks like where we want her to. Nice. Queen's going to fight the enemy queen here very soon. He's going to go ahead and drop the preemptive rage. The Eagle artillery is already activated, but is locked onto the king, thankfully. Queen takes out the enemy queen. Nice little girl and girl action right there. Offensive queen wins that one. Next wall breaker targets the builder hut compartment. He's going to try to use the third wall breaker to get all the way to the core. And it does target the right wall. Does it get there? Builder hut's going to attack it, but it still makes it. Double giant bomb. Not going to do a whole lot. Queen kills the enemy warden tower. Now she fights the RC. That's a lot of damage. Eagle artillery activates. Going to have to freeze the single. That might have been a second early, but I think it's going to work. Queen taking a lot of damage from the Expos and the Eagle. Can she stay alive and gut the core? That would be phenomenal if she could. Only a minute and 20 left on the clock. He still has a stone slammer. I think he's going to let Queen die. He has no more rages to keep her alive. Down she goes. Healers aren't going to get much more value. A minute and 12, and he starts with the stone slammer to the builder hut over here from six o'clock loons with warden that those loons might get targeted by the eagle no thankfully it was targeting the healers here comes the lava hound from nine o'clock with some more loons town hall's awake we're gonna go ahead and freeze it get the loons in there do we have to freeze it again he's gonna haste he's gonna pop warden ability down goes the town hall multi on the left side is doing a lot of damage the eagle targets loons we dropped the last hound from 10 o'clock okay Still got one more haste and a freeze. Ooh, I don't think this is looking that great for Crazy Ryan, though. Down goes the multi. Haste and freeze going into the back end of the base, but with the Eagle Artillery still alive. The last hound drops on the top side of the base. It's looking like a defense for Uta 14 to start off this match. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Ryan not going to be able to get it done here to start things off. 17 seconds left to go. He's got minions and a dragon on the southwest side of the base. All right. Warden with the owl going to be able to step up, take out the air defense on the top side, get in range of the eagle shots. But still, I don't think he's going to be able to finish this off. Is this a time fail? Do you guys think the loons and the warden could have finished that off? There's only like three air targeting defenses left. Maybe. Debatable. But 86% for Ryan to start off the match. And let's see what Queen Walkers can come up with on their first attack. Stadra is in with the first attack for Queen Walkers on Agent 33's base. 
and he's coming in with a little pee wee wee action oh baby early blimp for the eagle artillery compartment with the rage spell gonna pop it over the warden tower pulls the cc looks like a mass headhunter cc yetis do take out the eagle they are working on the skeleton trap poison spell right there for queen to get through these headhunters he's being patient with the healers now he's dropping them perfectly done the blimp cleared that entire compartment so that was a very nice battle blimp right there the first wall breaker because he wants queen to go directly into the scattershot compartment but i don't know if she will so he drops a second wall breaker down south so either way, she should be going in eventually. We're using the Unicorn with the Queen. The level 1 walls look very OP from Agent 33. Rage Spell right there. Unfortunately, the Unicorn gets targeted by the Ground Bow. So say goodbye to that Unicorn. Although it switches targets right before it dies. What? Yo, that was OP. Giant Bomb kills the Unicorn. <laughs> Rip. So the Unicorn does die indeed. Coco Loon right there to help out. Search for any Seeking Air Mines. Minion to funnel the Builder Hut. That's actually pretty clutch right there. Queen's going to start making her way toward the Town Hall Chamber. King on the outside to funnel. Yo, that minion's going to be able to snipe the ground bow. It's going to take like ten and a half years, but eventually it'll go down. Here goes the wall breaker to get his access to the Town Hall compartment. Here come the peckers. Here come the wee-wees on the right side of the base. King with the yak. Warden with the owl. Going to try to rage and pop warden ability to save the queen ability. Save everybody as they start taking damage from the Giga Inferno. Will the Giga Poison kill the super wizards one of them gets sprung off the map now they're no longer invincible from the warden ability they're gonna start getting hit by that giga poison but they're looking okay single target inferno kills one of his wizards now it locks onto a pecker we're gonna freeze it right there king pops his ability on the right side of the base the multi is actually doing a lot of work killing those king's barbarians and the witches we're gonna send the royal champion to help from that portion of the base peckers are making their way into the back end they're gonna absolutely roundhouse that enemy queen she goes down in two shots healers are finding seeking air mines Owl goes down to the multi. Royal Champion on the right side is going to take out the multi. And with the help of the Lassie, she's going to continue making her way up north toward the top end of the base where the Scattershot is. But the King is going to lock on and start working on them. Luckily, we have a Headhunter to help kill him. But do I dare say this is also looking like a defense? I'm not sure if he has this. Royal Champ ability does take out the Scattershot. Queen and Warden and the rc helped take out the enemy king we still got all four heroes alive but only 20 seconds to go and no cleanup troops except for one wizard wow maybe town hall 14 is not as broken as we thought it was are we seeing some op base building from these two teams for this event who knows queen pops her ability eight seconds ago but of course lex jinxes it and he does indeed have enough time with two seconds to spare stadra is gonna get him done who should have doubted him he got it and a three star on the board for queen walkers to start off this match bro i thought that was a time fail oh i'm blind guys i'm gonna be uploading another town hall 14 legends league base to my youtube community post for my members to see so if you haven't already make sure you hit that join button right next to the subscribe button and for just less than a dollar you can get access to all the legends league bases that i'm posting every single month agent 33 with the second attack of the match for space station they gotta start tripling if they want to keep up with queen walkers and let's see if they can do it he's coming in with a queen charge lalo he's not using the inferno baby dragons like he has been doing a lot of lately starts with a valkyrie to help funnel over on the south side of three o'clock queen with the lassie okay he's got nothing with the king lol owl with the presumably air warden and unicorn with the road champion Queen's going to walk her way up. We're going to wall break into the multi-targeting Inferno Tower Chamber. He funnels something with a sneaky goblin up at 11. Rage the queen through the enemy queen. Do we have to invest a freeze? That's a lot of damage, and indeed he does. Uses a freeze right there to make sure we save the queen ability for later. Coco Loon out in front. We get a partial CC pool, just one headhunter. Here comes the other one. Queen will be able to deal with those before the lava dog comes out. There goes the poison. She's in range of the warden, a sweeper, and an expo. That is a lot of DPS. That level 55 warden hits like an absolute truck. That's going to cost us another rage. He's dropping a second poison to help deal with all these lava pups. After three to four business days, she eventually gets through that lava hound and her pups, though. Going to step up, take out the queen platform, take out the expo, take out the warden tower and the eagle artillery. And we have no more wall breakers, but we do have a jump spell to get her deeper into this base. There she is on the warden tower. Looks like he wants her to walk up first. Then we're going to drop the jump spell. Very calculated timing here. King to funnel the outside and go get some more buildings. Where's the jump spell? There goes the jump spell right at the last second. Rage spell down to help her out. She's gonna still, ooh, 
Oh, she's close. That sweeper is being very pesky. But finally, she gets it down. Now she can step up toward the scatter shot. She's looking okay. He funneled over here at 11 to get the king into the town hall chamber. So the king can take out the town hall. He's even going to use the royal champion with the unicorn to help assist. Queen takes out the builder hut. She'll get the second sweeper. And she'll even be able to get the enemy royal champion with her ability. This is looking beautiful. Now he starts the Lalo from 9 o'clock. He's going to skip the town hall with the Lalo because he's just relying on the king and the royal champion to get that. We're going to go straight into a multi-target Inferno Tower compartment. We're going to freeze it up. King and Royal Champion find the Tornado Trap. Queen goes down. We're going to get a healer swap. He freezes the Town Hall. They will definitely be able to finish that off. Needs to pop the Warden ability maybe to save these loons over at 9 o'clock from the Scatter. Yes, perfectly timed. Might have to invest the freeze there as well so it can stop targeting those loons. We still have the Royal Champion. So actually, maybe he wants to save the freeze for the back end single. Because he might be relying on the Royal Champion to finish off the base. Last Lava Dog coming from the bottom side of the base with the last few loons as well. He's still got three more in the bag, actually. Headhunter to spare. Dropping some cleanup minions at 6 o'clock. Only 26 seconds to go. This is going to be close on time. Royal Champion still has her ability. And we have the freeze. Ooh, this is going to be really close. 18 seconds. I think he's looking okay. We're going to pop the Royal Champion ability. We're going to freeze. We're going to drop the Headhunter to help support. Perfectly timed headhunter is going to allow the RC to get through the king and with one, two, three, at least 69 and a half loons still alive and four seconds to spare. It's going to be a clan clash triple from Agent 33. What a beautiful queen charge Lala right there to get a triple. And let's see if they can get a defense to get back into this match. And here we go. Gaku with the second attack for queen walkers. Let's see if they can maintain their triple streak. Going in with a little Queen Charge hybrid action. Let's see Gaku doing the Town Hall 14 hybrid. He's using the Owl with the Queen, funneling with a Sneaky Goblin on the top right side of the base. Yeti to funnel the left side, okay. Wall Breaker on the top to get us access to that Town Hall chamber. The Owl chains into the Town Hall and wakes it up early. I'm not sure if that's something he expected. Does Queen go inside this compartment? Ooh, she's going outside. This could be bad news since the Town Hall is already awake. It might target the healers if she takes too long to get in there. That might be one downside to using the Owl with the Queen. He's going to have to react on the fly, send the King in for the Town Hall, and freeze it. Rage the Queen again. Oh, this is not going to plan for Gaku. Out come the CC troops. Queen is barely hanging on by a thread. Has to pop her ability. She's going to get through this corner wall piece. She'll be able to reach the scattershot compartment. The eagle artillery is already awake. Targets his queen. We got to drop the poison. We got to freeze. Can she stay alive? He might need to start the hybrid super early. The queen goes down. Oh my gosh. Starts the hybrid from 1030. Siege barracks at 9 o'clock to funnel. We do get a healer swap, but the healers are dying fast. He might be able to save him with a warden ability. Nope, he's going to heal first. Down go the healers. Now is the real test for Town Hall 14. How LOL is hybrid? If he still triples this base, it's got to be pretty LOL. He already used the first heal. About to pop the warden ability any second now to get through the core. There goes the warden ability. He still has one healer alive. All right, can he push through it all? No freezes for the Royal Champion, and there is a lot a lot of base left. There goes the last heal toward the bottom angle. Royal Champion still has her ability. We get through the core. Hogs from the Siege Barracks come out and join the troops on the bottom side of the base. We're going to get through the Skelly Trap right there. He's still going to get some pretty decent percentage considering how sketchy the start was. RC's going to have to pop her ability here. The Unicorn is helping heal her up. Down goes the Scatter Shot. We're going to target that enemy queen, but down goes the Royal Champion. Here comes some backup hogs, and we're at 73% in climbing. He's still going to get okay percentage here, but it's going to be a defense for Space Station. And wow, that is definitely something to note on your queen charge attacks, guys. The owl, with its chain damage, could wake up the Town Hall much earlier than you expect. And that's got to be something you start thinking about on your Town Hall 14 charges into the Town Hall now. He does have an archer on the right side of the base to grab one more building. And it looks like we're going to be finishing at 79% here for Gaku. And I believe Crazy Ryan's attack was in the 80s. So this is actually going to give Space Station the lead after the second round of attacks here in match number one. Down goes the archer. It is indeed 79%. And let's just double check. What was Crazy Ryan's percentage? 86. So Space Station with a seven building lead.
Nick is in on Klaus's base. Can he get the triple and maintain the lead here for Space Station Gaming? He's coming in with a zap. Log Launcher, Lalo with Ice Hounds. Oh, baby. Lightning spells on the right side of the base for the multi-target Inferno Tower. Where are we going to be using the Log Launcher? From the top side or the bottom? I think the bottom. Going into this bottom side scatter. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, Ice Golem from 3 o'clock. Queen with the Yak in behind. A second Ice Golem with the Log Launcher. Here we go. Hopefully that Log Launcher doesn't get targeted by anything. Ice Golem going into a weird compartment. There's a Skelly Trap. King with the Unicorn. Okay. Log Launcher is going to bust open the corner. That Ice Golem. No, Queen! Oh, she goes the wrong way. Rip the Suey, dude. Headhunter with the King. We'll be able to take out the enemy King. That is so unfortunate. <clears throat> How much value can he still get, though? The Log Launcher logs. Did they take out the enemy Headhunters? I think they did. So we don't got to worry about those. The Lava Hound might not even pop. He still has the Royal Champion. No, he used her on the south side of the base. She'll be able to take out the Eagle. Yeti's in the core. Queen's still getting some decent value on the top side. Dude, if she can get the enemy Queen with her ability, this might just be OP value, even though it's not what he planned for. She goes up. Oh, rip that Queen pathing. Wait, she still might kill the enemy Queen. She targets her. One shot, two shot, three shots. Down goes the enemy queen. RC dies to the single and doesn't pop the hound. Bruh, he's still got 55% of the base with this Sui. That was phenomenal. The only thing I don't like is the scatter he has to finish on, and that's kind of scary. Finds a tornado trap early with the Lalo. Freezes the town hall. We still got three haste and two more freezes. The poison that we don't really need. We're going to distract the lava hound with a headhunter on the top side of the base. Pop the Warren ability through the Town Hall. We can freeze away from that Giga Poison. Two Ice Hounds that are unpopped. Two freezes for the back end scatter. A minute and ten left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Even when his plans don't go to plan, Nick is OP. Oh my gosh, look at all those red bombs. Oh, look at the holy red bomb farm. Luckily, the loons split up, and he still has another backup 69 loons coming in to finish off that last compartment. 50 seconds to go. One loon in the bag that he doesn't even have to drop. Nick is OP. Gonna be able to get it done against Klaus's base. Honestly, the queen walking up might have been even better. I'm not sure. But that was OP. He's gonna get it done. Beautiful log launcher, Sui Lalo, right there. And the pressure is on Queen Walkers now. They have to triple if they want to keep up with Space Station. Dude, Rambo's getting big. Oh, he's 32 pounds now. Can you believe it? He's only five months old. Stars is in with the next attack for Queen Walkers. He needs to triple if they want to keep up. And let's see what he's bringing. Coming in with a Lalo attack of his own. Four invisibilities and a rage. Makes me think he's doing a blizzard. Where's he gonna start? Baby Dragon on the Archer Tower. Blimp from the south side of the base with a freeze. Oh, but the freeze was half a second late. Maybe the blimp got hit. How far does he want it to go? He pops it inside the gold storage compartment. Invisibility, rage. They're going to be able to reach the scatter shot. That's nice. Take out the bomb tower. Go work on the multi, maybe. Looking good so far. The wizards are staying alive. They're going to take out the eagle. They're going to take out the builder huts. And they should take out the multi. That's the last invisibility spell. Do they get everything he wanted? Wizards are getting sprung. I think that's everything he wanted. Maybe he wanted more. It's hard to tell. Archer at 3 o'clock to pull the Lava Hound over. Notice how the builders from the Builder Hut heal the clan castle. That's cool. He's going to drop the queen right away with the unicorn. She'll be able to take out that Lava Hound. All right. We even got a poison spell to help. He still has two, uh, three freezes and three haste for this Lalo. How far does he want to get with the Sui? I think he's going to try to send Royal Champion to the multi and Sui the Town Hall with his King and Queen. No, maybe I was wrong. He's sending the King in for the multi. And then Queen and possibly Royal Champ for the Town Hall. Queen's getting hit hard by that multi. She's going to stay outside. Okay, we're just going to let Queen solo the Town Hall. She probably can with that Unicorn, TBH on us. King pops his ability. He'll take out the multi and the enemy road champion so that our road champion really didn't have to do much there. She's going to go to the core. Take out all those builder huts and the sweeper? Oh, that's actually OP. And the yak is going to keep busting open walls to allow King to just suey the whole base with the queen. Dude, take a look at this. Royal Champion has to encounter the enemy king, so she's going to go down. We pop her ability. Wall break queen into the town hall. She's definitely going to get that. It's looking beautiful. The ice golem on the top side, I feel like it wasn't even needed. He starts the Lalo from 8 o'clock. A minute and 12 left on the board, so not a whole lot of time. Sends the headhunters. Pops the warden ability early. we got to get through that enemy queen, and they will. 
The loons all skip the multi except for one. The loons and the warden ability are going to path to the scatter. Okay, we're going to haste over there as well. Lava hounds on the top side are going to start working their way down. No more air defenses, but there's not a whole lot of base left. It's looking pretty good for stars. The off the lalo pathing was kind of awkward how he had to start in the middle, go up and then back down, but it ends up working out phenomenally. He's going to have two unpopped hounds. He doesn't even need them to pop. Two swag freezes and five loons in the bag holy crap what an attack from stars absolutely demolishing jd9's base and just like that queen walkers are back in it it's all tied up eight stars apiece after the third round of attacks and space station still with the lead on percent by seven buildings reticus is in with a fourth attack for space station bringing us some more lalo action two lightnings no six lightnings and one Earthquake. Okay. Starts with a Yeti at 8 o'clock. What is he going to be lightning? Zapping the Inferno Tower with the Builder Huts. And he wakes up the Town Hall with the Earthquake. Okay, okay. Look at the Yeti Mites trying to damage the cannon at 8 o'clock. But the Builder is healing it up. That's funny. RC with the Lassie to take out the Town Hall. She's going to go for the Archer Tower first. Tesla wakes up. It might distract her. Does he have one more invisibility? He does. All right, all right. There goes the next invisibility right there. Gonna have to pop her ability. Oh, she's getting distracted by skellies. She switches back to the town hall, pops her ability, and finishes it off. Whew, that was looking a little scary. But she gets the town hall perfectly done. King and queen from the left side of the base. We got the yak with the king. Unicorn with the queen. Need her to go inside. Please, ma'am, go inside. And she does. Perfect. Out come the CC troops. Poison spell right there. We get through the enemy queen. No, not quite. Ooh, this is looking sketchy now. Queen's going to get stuck on the Lava Hound, and she's not going for the scatter shot or the enemy Queen first. This is looking a little sketchy. She gets the Lava Hound down. Do we have to invest one more freeze to make sure we get all this Sui value? Ooh, he's trying not to. The Unicorn is helping out a ton. We pop the ability, and the scatter shot switches targets to the Unicorn. Does he still have to freeze? Mm, she targets Queen. Can she get the scatter? Yes, she does. Okay. OP Sui value. I think it costed us an extra freeze that he wasn't expecting to use. And here he comes with a Lalo from the right side of the base. Both Lava Hounds, or two of the three, into that first air defense. Stone Slammer from the bottom side. We got to get through that Royal Champion. Oh, the Lava Hounds are getting away from the Loons now. It's looking a little weird. Got to pop the Warden ability with these Headhunters. Pop it, pop it, pop it. No! Oh, he doesn't get the Headhunters in the Warden ability. This RC kill is going to be very difficult now. The RC even targets his Warden, of all things. Got to pop the Warden ability. Right there going through the core. The Stone Slammer is still alive. Whatever's in there could kill the, the Warden switches targets to the Royal Champion? And the Owl finishes her off? Oh! Wow. Freeze the Sweeper. He still might get this. One more haste in the bag. Uses it right there to go into the Expo, the Inferno Tower, and the Wizard Tower on the left. Uh, uh, the Loons are low on HP. I don't know if he still gets this. The Owl, though, is OP. Oh, but he goes down. The Dragon's going to die to the single. And it's going to be another defense for Queen Walkers. The Goretic is not going to be able to get it done here on Stodra's base with the Lalo 90% in climbing. 20 seconds to go. These minions should be able to get two more buildings at least for a 92. Okay, okay, okay. That warden sniping the RC was something else though. That was awesome to see. Down goes the storage. Minions will be able to take out... The gold mine in time, question mark, three, two, one. No, they don't. 91% for Goreticus, and now the door is open for Queen Walkers to potentially steal the lead with their next attack. Hey guys, there's tons of new offers in the shop. If you want to upgrade your base faster, don't forget to use code Lexnos before you buy any of those packs. Thank you so much for the support. Klaus is in on Nick's base. Now, Nick crushed Klaus's base earlier, and Klaus is looking for revenge. Coming in with a Lalo attack of his own. Four invisibilities and a rage spell. Makes me think it's going to be a blizzard. Let's see how he does it. Here we go with the hound and the blimp from the eight o'clock angle. He's going to try to get it, it looks like, to the core. So he can get the scatter shot. Ooh! Pops it right there just before the air sweeper does anything to it. Invisibility down. Rage spell down as well. Hello, double giant bomb. And goodbye, super wizards. Rip Nick with the bait.
On Klaus, no way. The Super Wizards get hardly any value. Pulls the Lava Hound to the top side of the base. Oh my goodness. Can Klaus recover? If he does, Klaus will just be the best attacker in the world. My goodness. We got uh, two Headhunters, three Archers, and a Lava Hound that he has to deal with here. He's trying to pull the Headhunters away from the Lava Hound. Down goes one Headhunter. Baby Dragon taking a lot of damage. Can he kill the other one before he dies? We drop the Queen as well with the Yak. Now, what does the Yak do when the Queen is stuck on the Lava Hound? Does the Yak just keep moving forward? I guess he does so little damage, it won't even matter. He's not even going to get through one building by the time Queen gets through the... The Lava Puffs, it takes the Yak three to four business days just to destroy one building by himself. King with the Unicorn, Wall Breaker as well. Was he trying to get the Junction? I'm not sure. King's gonna go in over here. We're trying to take out that Royal Champion. We send our Royal Champion with the Lassie to help the Sui as well. King walks left. Queen and Royal Champion tag team the RC. Three girls right there. Down goes the enemy Royal Champion. We pop the RC ability, still holding on to that Queen and King ability. Here goes the King ability on the left. We're holding on to that uh, queen ability on the top side. Road champion with invisibility spells. Dude, if he still gets the scatter. He's got one more invisibility, bro. He's still going to get the scatter. No way. Queen's going to get the expo. She's going to get the scatter. Freeze, and she gets it. He freezes the expos and not the scatter. Why? why uh, 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 oh, she gets it. No. Klaus, you dirty dog, dude. This guy is going to recover. Only 58 seconds to do the Lalo, though. We still got to get to the town hall. Starts the Lalo without, with the Warden with the Owl going into the Town Hall compartment. The Town Hall barely wakes up just now. 50%. We're going to freeze it with the Builder Hut. Last Lava Hound from the bottom side of the base. Only one more Loon in the bag. Haze through the Town Hall. Tornado Trap? Bruh. Oh, uh, Warden and Owl snipe it, though. Loons are not going to take any damage because that new Warden ability just lasts so long. Scattershot might be the MVP on defense. That's his last freeze. Hello, Red Bomb Farm, and down go all the Loons. Oh, Nick with the OP base that may have just saved Space Station in this match. Nice try to Klaus but not gonna be able to get it done against Nick's base. It was just baited left and right. It's like Nick knew exactly what Queen Walkers would try. Holy crap. Two seconds to go. We run out of time at 77%. And now going into the last round of attacks, we are tied on stars, 10 stars apiece, and percentage in favor of Space Station, 75.4 to 712 and JD9 with the last attack of the match for Space Station Gaming. If he triples, Space Station are going to win match number one here. And let's see if JD9 can get it done with a Queen Charge Lalo on Star's base. He's starting off with the Queen with the Unicorn at 6 o'clock. He wants her to walk to the right. He's being very patient with the healer deployment. There he goes, dropping the healers on the right side of the Queen. She takes the cannon. We're going to wall break. To not give her access to the eagle, it looks like he wants her to go into the multi-targeting Inferno Tower compartment. That new level 55 Warden on defense hits like an absolute truck. You almost always have to rage through him. It's crazy how much damage he does. Next wall breaker to the multi-compartment is successful. Queen steps up, takes out the Warden without us even having to funnel. There goes the King and Yak on the outside of the base now. We're funneling to get him to go inside for the air defense. Okay, we got two more wall breakers. Here come the CC troops. Poison spell nice and early for those headhunters. Queen's in range of an expo, an archer tower, and a scatter shot. So we got to keep her under rage in order to keep her alive. Even with the unicorn, we still have to rage her up. Two loons to very smartly take out that archer tower while we can. King with a headhunter. Going to be able to take out that royal champion. That's looking nice. Bro, if he wall breaks for the king, that'd be OP. Nah, king's going to go back outside. That's all right. Can we wall break queen all the way to the core? And we do. Look at that wall breaker. Making its way all the way to the core. Queen's going to be able to get the south scatter shot and the upper scatter shot on this charge. Can she reach the single target inferno? No, I don't think she can. We send the royal champion. No, we haven't. He starts the Lalo from the bottom side of the base with the royal champion, bro. Oh, he's going all out. He's going to finish on the town hall. He still has the blimp. Could blimp it from the top side of the base. Queen taking a lot of damage. We might just have to pop her ability and save the rage for the blimp. Indeed, that is what he does. Queen guts the entire core. Lalo from the bottom side of the base with a blimp in the warden ability for the town hall, it looks like. We're going to pop the warden ability any second now. There goes the warden ability. Freezes the single to keep the queen alive. 
Blimp hopefully makes it there. I don't think we found the tornado trap yet. Uh, with the rage, no tornado, triple, quadruple skeleton trap, but the town hall drops. No more spells. 68 plus one loon still alive. RC with ability. 44 seconds to go. Ladies and gentlemen, JD9 with the queen charge Lalo to win match number one. For space station gaming now we still have uta 14's attack to come in and i bet it's going to be awesome so we're going to watch that one but space station gaming coming out strong here in this best of three matchup and they're going to be taking it or winning match number one they're going to be taking number one and inching their way closer to winning that 200 dollars prize we'll see if they can hang in match number two uta 14 is in on crazy ryan's base bringing us is this some more Blizzard Lalo? Uta 14 not doing a Queen Charge Lalo like he normally did at Town Hall 13. Let's see what he can do here with the Blizzard. Lava Hound from 2 o'clock. Blimp from 3 o'clock. How far does this Blimp make it? It won't get hit by any Air Sweepers. Are we going to pop it right here? Yes, we are. Finds a Tornado. Dude, no way. Was this baited again? Super Wizards are doing the Disco Dance in the Invisibility spell, but they're still going to be able to get some really decent value here. Take out the scatter shot. Can they kill the queen with a splash? She's very low on HP. Haven't actually taken her out. Oh, they shoot the wall and it takes out the queen. Beautifully done there from the super wizards. They can't reach the eagle, which is very unfortunate. So the eagle stays up. He's going to pull the lava hound to three o'clock with an archer. All right, probably going to drop either the baby dragon and a wizard. I bet that is what he does. Baby dragon and a wizard. Yep. That's the best way or most efficient to take out the Lava Hound without losing any Queen HP. Poison spell right there. He is using a lot of time for the beginning parts of this opener. Only two minutes left on the board and we're just now starting the Sui. Baby Dragon and Wizard with the poison on the top side will take out the Lava Pups. King with the Yak. Queen with the Unicorn. Let's see how much value they can get. He still has the Royal Champion to deploy. Drops a Valkyrie and a Wizard on the south side of the base here. King should wrap back around to the left. Take out the Scattershot and the Royal Champion. We use our Royal Champion with the Lassie to take out the Eagle, and she'll even walk up and get a bunch more value on top of that. That's looking good. He tries to wall break all the way to the core, but it doesn't work. Oh, that's unfortunate. He needed to bring one more wall breaker. Queen takes out the Royal Champion, but she won't be able to get the Inferno Towers. He already lost the Yak, so no way to open the wall unless Queen just beats through it with her ability. Royal Champion on the top side still has her ability. Holy crap, that Royal Champion is getting a ton of value. Half the base is gone. He zaps the single to reset it. Okay. I like that. Queen beats through the wall. She won't get the multi, but she might get the single before she dies. One shot, two shot, three shot, four. No, single stays up. We start the Lala from the, top, from the bottom side. RC almost got the multi. Bro, that RC by herself cleared like half the base. What the heck? Freeze the town hall. Haste the bottom group of loons. We're going to have to haste again into the town hall and freeze again. A lot of spells just to get us through that town hall. Pop the warden ability. Boom. There we go. Protect all those loons through the giga bomb and the giga poison. Probably need to haste again just to get through the sweeper in the core. He's going to go with the freeze and the haste. And then he sneaks in a couple loons for the back end. Can they take out the multi? It is low on HP, but that new multi at the max level does so much damage. Down it goes. Is this a time fail or a triple? I think he's got it. A minion's over on the right side. 20 seconds to go. He's got it. Yuta 14 with the Blizzard Lalo. Gonna be able to get it done against Crazy Ryan's base. Beautiful attack. Let's check out these stats, guys. 13 to 13. And it is gonna be a victory for Space Station Gaming, 95.4% to 91.2 here in match number one.